Christmas week airport update. This is the Burlington Central Carolina International Airport update for December of 2020. And this is our yearly retro update. So, and this will be something I'll be doing every Christmas week from now on. And it will be where I use retro planes and I do a BCI update. So, as you can see, we've got some new models here. That one in the middle right there, the three blue Tulip 75s is new. And I just like to do this because I really like the 2000s era, 2000s, 2010s. And so I have quite a few planes from it that don't fit on my modern boards. So I thought I would do this as a once a year thing special. And uh, we're going to get started here. This will also be handheld because, you know, it's like a retro thing and, you know, retro YouTube. So I'm going to get started. I have my routes written down here and we're going to get started with all these routes. We've got quite a few here. We're going to get started with these blue tulip 75s. There are also six new models in this video. That'll be a little precursor to the next massive unboxing video that'll be out in, uh, I'd say, maybe about three or four weeks. So, it'll be in January sometime. So, let's get started here with this Gemini Jets United Blue Tulip 757200. This guy came in from Denver. Here we have the NG Mall new model 757200 Blue Tulip with winglets. This guy came in from San Francisco. And then here we have the Aero Classics United 752 Blue Tulip. This guy came in from Chicago, Ohio. And these are also based on realistic routes that would have been done at the time. This update is set between 2011 to 2013. It's the time frame. Next up, we have a Southwest 737-300 in the Lone Star 1 colors. This guy came in from Orlando and he'll head up to St. Louis. Next up, we have the Canyon Blue-700. This you do see in the modern airports because they still fly some around. This guy came from Tampa and it'll help to Denver. Next up we got the US Airways A319 in the Cardinals colors. This guy came in from Philadelphia. Here pushing back we have this US Airways Boeing 757-200. This guy came in from... This guy is about to head out to Phoenix. Also this will be pretty much unedited because it's supposed to be like you know classic YouTube video, classic airport. Here we have a Virgin America A319. This guy came in from Las Vegas and a head out to New York JFK. Here we have the Lufthansa Boeing 747-400. This guy came in from Frankfurt. The Virgin Atlantic 747 came in from Manchester. Now I could have used the British Airways 747 if I decided to use the 777 because I haven't used this model in quite a, time, quite a long time. This Boeing 777-300 yard came in from London Heathrow. Here we have a very interesting route. We have the Delta MD-90. This guy came in from Salt Lake City. Yes, BCI to Salt Lake City is just barely within the range of the Delta MD-90 by about 50 miles or so. So just inside the range, technically a route that could have been done. And at the time, in the early 2010s here, these MD-90s were based out of Salt Lake City, a lot of them. And the Delta only had 16 at the time in 2013. They expand the fleet quite a bit to what is well what it was at the max before it was retired but um very interesting a lot of the md90s were out of salt lake now i've got to get over here to get a better view here we have a pair of delta 767s um first off we have this 767 300 with winglets let me see if i find her out that guy is coming from paris and then the other 763 without winglets this is from mass from boxing one new model this guy came in from Atlanta as Flight 7. Here we have quite a rare model. Some of you guys don't even know I have this in, in the collection. This is the KLM MD-11, German Jets 2014 release, PH-KCB. It's quite a rare model. Well, I'd say around 250 bucks. This guy came in from, well, I guess you guessed it. He came in from Amsterdam, Schiphol. One of my favorite models. Next up, we have the American 763. This is a model I got all over this year. This guy came in from London Heathrow. Super happy to have this model. Next up, we have the American 757-200 Silver Chrome. Great model. This is the 2007-8 release, somewhere now. And uh, this model is really nice. This guy came in from Miami. These are also realistic routes for what would have been done at the time back in 2000. Uh, 11 
through 13. You might think that would go on DFW, but I have another plane going to DFW that I know uh, Red River Aviation will really like. Next up, we have the US Airways A321. This guy will be heading out to Charlotte Douglas. And then we have some more Southwest. We have at the time, it would have been brand new Boeing 737-800. There's an engine balls. This guy came in from Phoenix Sky Harbor. I know how Sky Harbor Midway. Really interesting. I don't have many 738s on the board. I think this is the only one at the time. And uh, this is because the 738s were new in the Southwest fleet, and not too many airlines had a ton of these at the time. Next up, we got another Southwest Classic, another 300. This is a great model. This guy, let's see what I was doing. He came in from Baltimore and he went up to Nashville. Moving on to the, I believe it's the second new model. Yes, the second new one. Uh, there are six new models in here. Uh, they will see mass unboxing too. This is one of them. This is the Northwest 752. He'll be heading out to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Operating, I guess you could say for NW or Delta. The way it works. Here we have a Delta 752. This guy will be heading out to Atlanta. And then next up we got the Air Tran 717-200. This guy came in for Orlando and it will head out to Atlanta. Air Tran had a bunch of hubs. These were the two biggest ones. They also had Baltimore, Maryland, even Washington, Dulles as a hub. They have some interesting hubs for soy. Alright. We'll now move on to the aircraft that are in the lineup. Here we have the third new model. This is a U.S. Airways 737-400. At the time, um, these aircraft were based out of CLT as they're coming close to retirement. Next up, we got the Delta Airlines MD-88. This guy will be heading out to New York JFK. And then we got the U.S. Airways A330-300. This guy will be heading out to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. We got the Northwest CRJ-900. This guy will be heading out to Boston. That's operating as a Delta flight. And then we have the fourth new model. This is this is a United A320 in the Battleship Gray. This is the Jimmy Jets version. Quite a rare model. It's actually a rare model. Not just saying that it is. This guy will be heading out to Chicago here. And then here we have the gorgeous American MD83. Competing on the United flight to CLT, uh, sorry not CLT, but to uh, Chicago Hale. Just like how the United having the O'Hare Stars, American does, and obviously they still had MD-80s to O'Hare at the time. You can see how that uh, sign of the chrome actually reflects what's around it. Super awesome. Then we have the Lufthansa A340-600 France Hans delivery. This guy will be heading out to Munich. Interestingly enough, this livery actually didn't come out until 2015, so the livery is kind of wrong because of the fans on the livery tile from the front. But overall, this livery would have been out. The normal one, anyway. We have the American Eagle E145. Uh, this guy will be heading out to out. New York LaGuardia. Also, at an airport, I like to call it garbage. And then uh, we get to the other route seat out. And then here we have Fortune America A320. About to uh, butt sniff the uh, Delta 757. This is in the Here Come the Angels livery. Not my favorite model. Single classics. Uh, I much prefer the Jerry Jets A319. This one right here. Uh, this is my favorite Roger America model. But the uh, A320 from Hero Classics isn't horrible. It's just not amazing. But it fits here for the retro stuff. And I really like Roger and America. This guy came in from Los Angeles. And then here we have a Delta 757-200 who is about to taxi out for Los Angeles. This is in the Gen 1. So as you can tell, these aircraft would be used for transcon service. So this makes sense here. Moving on over to this tunnel. Here we have a Continental Boeing 737-700. This guy will be heading out to Newark. Here we have this United Boeing 757-200. This guy will be heading out to Washington Dulles. United had a lot more 752s to hub routes back in the day compared to now where they barely have any. But at the time, you used to be able to see 75s to a lot of hub routes. And then here we have this Blue Tulip 763. I don't think many of you guys know I have this model. This model is kind of broken because of that collapsed port side landing gear. 
uh, but it's still a pretty nice model overall. And uh, this guy will be heading out to Amsterdam. Next up, we have the United 777-200 EGAR. This guy will be heading out to Frankfurt. Would have been a typical United International route at the time. Here we have an Allegiant MD-83. This guy will be heading out to Orlando, Sanford. The Alaska B-79, the old livery, will be heading out to Seattle. Over there, we have a beautiful little cargo section setup. The DC-10 will be heading out to Memphis for FedEx. And then we have three UPS planes because it got a lot more UPS here than FedEx. Uh, first off, we have the Boeing 767. Uh, this guy came in from Chicago Rockford and he'll head out to Philadelphia. The 747 just came in from Anchorage with a flight overseas and then he'll be heading on continuing service to Louisville. And then in the background, we have the MD-11. This guy is here from Miami. And we don't just have 1 to 400s, we have some 1 to 200s to sell you guys. Some retro 1 to 200s. Here we have the LL747-400, this guy will be heading out to Tel Aviv. This is a Skymarks model, it's actually pretty decent. Then there we got a Hogan Wings, New Mexico 1, 737-700. This guy came in from Dallas Love Field and he'll head out to Las Vegas. A uh, pretty valuable model. We got the US Airways CRJ-900. This guy will be heading out, let me find it, to Washington DCA. Here we have the American MD-82. We'll be heading out to Dallas Fort Worth. I'm so Red River Aviation is slightly jelly right now because uh, he doesn't have one of these and I do. He does have the 1200 MD-83, which is a very nice model, but uh, the MD-82, very nice model. And some of these routes I just know because I know these. I don't always have to look at the route seat. I only have to look at these for about mm, a third of the routes because I know most of these. CRJ-700 American Eagle will be going out to New York LaGuardia very common route would have been on CRJs all the time. Over here we have a Delta Connection CRJ200 in the Carmel livery. Uh, this guy we head out to Dallas Fort Worth because believe it or not in the early 2000s and 2010s Delta Connection actually had a focus city at DFW so this guy we head out to there. The Northwest Airlink CRJ200 this is another new model will be heading out to Memphis. We'll do Memphis for that guy. Uh, next up we got the CRJ700. This guy came in from... I need to find this one. This guy came in from New York LaGuardia and we'll head out to Washington DCA. New model. Northwest A320. Gemini 200. Great model. The CRJ200 Northwest was engine models. This is Gemini 200. This guy came in from Detroit. And then the E145 came in from Cleveland. And then the B738, this is Hogan Wings. This guy came in from Houston IH. This guy also has uh, a gear, interesting enough, that came, uh, it came with the wrong set of gear. So it had the correct side for the Star Wars side, but not for the port side. So I will at some point get a replacement wheel set for that. But yeah, that is the update. Hope you guys enjoyed the special Christmas week retro update. What do you guys think of it? And I would love to know if you want to see more of these, like say a yearly theme. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day and God bless you.